Hi, I'm John, the interest-free banking systems engineer, Termel, and this series of four articles is started by an article by Ellen Brown in Yes Magazine called How Cash Starved States Can Create Their Own Credit. And she mentioned how there's a bank of North Dakota, which operates like a real bank with all the profits going to the state instead of the private banks and their shareholders. Says California and other states should save themselves by doing the same. Yes. So not only have I tried to get Governor Schwarzenegger to do like Governor Romero in Argentina in Salta province when he paid all his employees with provincial bonds, Arnold could do it too. Now we have Miss Ellen Brown and her friends trying to convince Governor Musclebrain to try and use their own bank to come up with interest-free credit to put everybody back to work, but it doesn't seem like it's penetrated the muscles through the layers to get in, sadly. But here's Miss Ellen Brown's contribution. So what's going on in Gurley Man Governor Schwarzenegger's state? February the 11th, 2009. Budget talks continue. Schwarzenegger threatens layoff warnings. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger on Tuesday said he would send layoff warnings to 20,000 workers if a budget is not agreed upon by Friday. I guess he's just trying to scare them. It's a $40 billion shortfall. Hmm. Then on March the 6th, they're talking about tent cities in Sacramento. People who have lost their homes are busy living in tent cities. Arnold State. And then April 5th, 2009, quick interest point in Congress. A House subcommittee wants to legalize payday loans with interest rates up to 391%. Only 30% a month, you know. Lobbyists from the industry bought Congress, they say. Indeed, the payday lending industry is strenuously resisting the measure of only 391%. The measure would cap the annual interest rate for a payday loan at 391%. Oh, isn't that terrible? So Congress in 2006 capped the interest rates for military payday loans at 36% a year, 3% a month, and 15 states have also done it. But Congressman Gutierrez and Joe Baca, they would preempt state laws uh, banning payday loans. So they're ripping off the poor. Then the Mercury News on May the 8th by Curtis Alexander. State may raid cash from cities and county. Don't forget, girly man governor has no money. Santa Cruz, call it grim, a threat or grim reality, whatever it is, it's not being welcomed at city halls across California. The governor's office suggested this week that if the May 19th budget reform measures are rejected by voters, the state will have to borrow $2 billion from cities and counties. Our budget gap is so big, it's beyond anything we could have imagined already, said Santa Cruz City Manager Dick Wilson. If the state adds this additional burden, it's overwhelming. Bad times, California. And then on May the 28th, Schwarzenegger proposes 5% cut in state workers' salaries. So everybody takes a pay cut because Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is running out of money. He wants a 5% cut in 200000 state workers' salaries. Now, don't forget, in Argentina, those workers demanded they be paid in, provinci in provincial bonds. And, of course, these 200,000 workers could take their 5% pay cut in state bonds. But they're too stupid, just like their governor. So, combined with the existing mandatory furloughs, that would mean about a 15% cut for those workers. And if they're not smart enough to do like the Argentinians, maybe they're not worth the full money anyway. Everyone in the state is cutting back right now. Businesses, families, said Matt David, spokesman for Schwarzenegger. The governor feels it's very important that state workers do the same thing. So everybody else is starving, so we should share the starvation too. So the proposal to be announced would save the state $470 million out of $40 billion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, two days were also, last year he forced the state workers to take off two days a month without pay amounting to about a 10% salary reduction. And, of course, the services went down by two days a month, right? So, by that amount. So, Arnold Schwarzenegger cutting and slashing because he's got no money. And remember, having no money to do useful things is as stupid as having a railroad and not using it because you got no tickets. So, then on May 21st, Governor plans to completely eliminate welfare for families. 
Boy, does he know who to hit right, eh? The poor people who can't fight back. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, musclehead, is proposing to completely eliminate the state's welfare programs for families. Medical insurance for low-income children and Cal Grant cash assistance to college and university students. The proposal to sharply scale back the assistance that California provides to its neediest residents came in testimony, blah, blah, blah. So Arnold knows who to stick, the poor people. Then June the 4th, California contemplates ultimate reform, no welfare. Well, we heard about that. And then June 9th, Oakland considers bankruptcy because they have high employee salaries and benefits they can no longer afford. And the police and fire departments and the police and firemen are too stupid to ask for state bonds. So they're going to have to take a pay cut or be laid off. And finally, on June the 24th, hey, yesterday, California set to issue IOUs as fiscal crisis waves. Now, you know that these IOUs won't be payable in taxes. Otherwise, it would be a solution. And you can't expect Musclehead to come up with a solution. Los Angeles Reuters, California controller said on Wednesday that he would have to <coughs> issue IOUs. In a week, if lawmakers can't quickly solve a $24 billion deficit and the state's treasurer plans to tap a reserve fund to meet debt service costs. Oh, they'll always pay the interest. Don't worry about that. But they'll cut everybody else to starvation. So they'd be forced to use IOUs. Isn't that sad? And that's a solution. So the problem is that he won't accept them back as taxes. And that's why his IOU solution can't work. And finally... The good news, the only good news about Governor Schwarzenegger running out of money, California may have to cut prison population by 40%. And since most of the prisoners are there for gardening offenses, hey, no danger to society, that's probably the only good news. They're going to have to let go all the illegal gardeners. Yes, sir, cut back funding for cops and gardeners. So now <clears throat> we've explained how we could use bonds, but we have an article here in Yes Magazine <clears throat> online, Path to a New Economy, by Ellen Brown, titled Bank on It, How Cash-Starved States Can Create Their Own Credit. Quote from Francis Bacon, He that will not apply new remedies must expect new evils, for time is the greatest innovator. On February 19th, 2009, California narrowly escaped bankruptcy when Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger put on his Terminator hat and held the state Senate in a lockdown mode until they signed a very controversial budget. If the vote failed, the state was going to be reduced to paying its employees in IOUs, which aren't so bad if you could pay them in taxes, but since you can't, it is so bad. They're useless to you. California avoided bankruptcy for the time being, but 46 out of 50 states are insolvent and could be filing Chapter 9 bankruptcy proceedings in the next two years. Wow. One of the four states that is not insolvent is an unlikely candidate for the distinction, North Dakota. As Michigan management consultant Charles Sweetman observed last month in an article distributed to his local media, quote, North Dakota is a sparsely populated state of less than 700,000, known for cold weather, isolated farmers, and a hit movie Fargo. Yet, for some reason, it defies the real estate cliche of location, location, location. Since 2000, the state's gross national product has grown 56%, personal income has grown 43%, and wages have grown 34%. This year, the state had a budget surplus of $1.2 billion. How would they do that? Tell Governor Musclehead. What does the state of North Dakota have that other states don't? The answer seems to be its own bank. In fact, North Dakota has the only state-owned bank in the nation. The state legislator established the Bank of North Dakota in 1919. Fleetham writes that the bank was set up to free farmers and small businessmen from the clutches of out-of-state bankers and railroad men. By law, the state must deposit all its funds with the bank, and the state guarantees its deposits. Three elected officials oversee the bank, the governor, the attorney general, and the commissioner of agriculture, and the bank's stated mission is to deliver sound financial services that promote agriculture, commerce, and industry in North Dakota. The bank operates as a banker's bank, partnering with private banks to loan money to farmers, real estate developers, schools, and small businesses. 
It loans money to students, over 184,000 outstanding loans, and it purchases municipal bonds from public institutions. Still, you may ask, how does that solve the solvency problem? Isn't the state still limited to spending only the money it has? The answer is no. Ah, she knows about credit. Certified card-carrying bankers are allowed to do something nobody else can. They can create credit with accounting entries on their books.